So oftentimes, we can diagnose craniosynostosis based off of primarily the physical examination because when the sutures fuse, we get these characteristic pathologic head shapes. Uh, as Dr. Hoffman was saying, when the sagittal suture fuses, we get this elongated head that has a narrowing in the back and bossing in the front. This is referred to uh, um, as scaphocephaly, and this is usually pathognomonic of sagittal craniosynostosis. On the other hand, for instance, if the metopic suture fuses, we get a restriction in the frontal bone growth, and we get comp uh, compensatory growth in the parietal area, which gives us kind of a triangular shape to the front of the head. We call this trigonocephaly. Other features might include a large ridge over the fused suture, in this case, the metopic. Um, and so people like ourselves who spend a lot of time looking at heads of little babies can see a child that has craniosynostosis and often make the diagnosis primarily on physical exam. That being said, depending on the presentation and or the age of the child, there are ways for us to get more objective evidence about what's going on with the sutures. Um, most uh, typically that would involve a non-contrast uh, low dose CT scan, uh, which would then give us additional information and visualization of the sutures directly.